what I want to do is take a moment and do kind of a quick poll with the questions box here. Uh, how would you describe complacency? I want to get some of your thoughts because I'm going to cover uh, here in a moment what some of the general feedback has been. But uh, from your standpoint, how would you describe complacency? What is a driver of complacency? All right, so very, some very interesting comments and whatnot. Uh, okay, so I'm seeing things like disengagement from the task at hand, uh, uh, the opposite of being proactive. Okay, that's interesting, opposite of being proactive. Um, of course, commonly I see several maybe references to laziness. Um, uh, let's see, what else do we have? Using tribal knowledge, lack of process, not following procedures, uh, not caring about the qual not caring about the quality of your work. Yeah, and I think you're going to see that there's a, a broad uh, range of comments when I, and I was kind of curious kind of what your thoughts and feedback were going to be as we uh, talk through this. Um, there was a, um, you know, a, a poll of 132 professionals, safety professionals, and this comes from um, uh, another uh, study that I was reading about referencing, and they'd asked uh, these safety professionals, what is complacency? And uh, about 34% of them mentioned that it's a habit as the driving cause. So it's basically your habits that cause or result in complacency. So really what they're asking about is what is a driver of complacency? 22% uh, reference that it's, you know, not taking risks seriously. You know, so just kind of being unaware or, or maybe not really focusing on kind of the overall risk involved with the task or with a hazard involved. 20% uh, um, reference that you're overconfident, you know, that the task was mastered. So you're kind of just going through the motions, I think is what's being applied there. 8% um, not paying attention to what you're doing. So when they reference complacency, it's just people not really paying attention. You know, this is where we'll talk about that classic situational awareness that I think often becomes a, a label. And then, um, and then it looks like there was a vast majority of others, uh, not all poor training and adequate planning, pretty much just about anything associated with human error uh, tends to get that label for complacency. And so, you know, one of the things you're going to see as we get going is it's it's, it's not exactly an easy term to define. Uh, if we, uh, if actually, if we look it up in the dictionary, uh, Merriam-Webster's definition here references self-satisfaction, especially when accompanied by oh, unawareness of actual dangers or deficiencies. Uh, an instance of unusually unaware or uninformed self-satisfaction. So you can kind of see there's this mentality. It's 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 definitely a mental uh, model that uh, that people tend to use to describe that. 